Hello, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate a data trans the transformation from ESP32 to AWS IoT Core. And in order to demonstrate this, we will use MTT MQTT test client menu, what you have seen now on the screen. And our purpose is to send messages from ESP32 and to see them here. MQTT is a little bit confusing because we will be sending messages via HTTP, but we will be able to see them uh, here. This video series will be divided to three uh, videos. In the first video, we will create the thing. The thing is a part uh, of the AWS IoT core, which enables us to communicate with physical device. And we will explain in the first video, in this video, how to create it inside AWS. In the second video, we will post, we will write to the thing from our PC uh, by curl uh, and uh, show how it can, can be tested. And in our third video, we will write uh, to this thing from uh, the ESP32 in ESP IDF and uh, we will see the results here. So, so let's uh, create a thing first of all. We will enter our AWS console. Uh, here we will not talk about how to open AWS account and because uh, it's in numerous videos about this subject. We are starting with existing account. Uh, go to Ida, I, I, IoT Core, IoT Core, uh, we'll, we'll enter it. And here we would like to create a thing. First, we'll go to the manage. Uh, things. Here I have already created one thing that I am using and now we will uh, create an additional thing for additional uh, device. Create thing. Create a single thing. Next. The thing name. We will call it ESP32 v2 uh, and go next without any shadow we will t will not talk about shadows in this video next a uh, very important part of creating a sync is generated is generating a certificate because all the communication to the thing is secure, the certificates are crucial in order to communicate with the thing. So we will auto generate the certificate next. Now we are asked to create a policy. We have uh, some policy created and we want to create an additional policy. Create policy. Uh, the name will be, let's keep it the same, uh, ESP v2 policy. We, uh, we will choose a wildcard for the policy for every action and for every source of course in the production code you won't work like this but for demonstration purposes and we allow it create 
Now that we have a policy created, we will choose this policy, which basically allows us to do everything and create the thing. We have only one time to download the certificate. This is a very crucial moment and we will download all possible certificates because it's our only chance to do it. We download, uh, save, download, uh, save, download, save, and download, save, and download, save. save. So we downloaded uh, five certificates. We want we will we will use only three of them, but uh, uh, because it's our only chance to do it, we will save all of them. Done. Now we um, successfully created the thing, and su successfully created the certificates. We have a certificates in our download menu, and we. Uh, started our ESP project, Proj3. Inside main directory, I open a specific directories for certificates. So we will just save it here from the downloads. Let's check what we have uh, right now. We are Go, we, we went back to our uh, AWS main console and we have a link here to IoT Core so we don't need to search it again. We go to IoT Core, uh, we manage things, we have a thing that we created, ESP32 version 2, and also in, inside Secure we can see the policies. And remember that we attach policy v2. So inside this policy, we can we can uh, uh, see uh, that it basically allows us um, to connect. So the policy is defined. So we here we we have here our thing created with appropriate policy and uh, we can go back to things v2 and here we can see a uh, different um, different uh, parameters about the thing that we created we can see the certificate was created and it's active very interesting thing here is inside interact we can view our settings. It also have a, a different uh, a route here, but view settings. It's very important from these settings to to copy the endpoint. So inside our project, we will open uh, uh, the. Um, text file and we will copy the endpoint here we will need to use it in the future the endpoint will enable us to connect our physical device to the address, specific address in the cloud, so we can uh, point out to the specific uh, point, to the specific address and connect those uh, devices. In this video, we, we covered the creation of thing inside AWS. And uh, in the, our next video, we will show a post of messages to the AWS IoT Core. Thank you.